<coughs> okay, so quick, quick wristwatch check, wrist, wrist, wristwatch check. Here's my uh, Rolex 1406-1996 uh, full set. I bought it for. Um, I can't. I can't. Um, I can't convert the Israeli new shekels to US dollars right now. But if you're interested in me telling you how much it costs, then I will tell you in the comments. Just ask me. I just can't think. I think it's around uh, uh, nine, eight, ten. I don't. Anyway, just ask me because I don't don't uh, take me for guaranteed. Now, uh, what I wanted to talk about is my new habit. I have a new habit. I am. I, I wear a watch in the morning, uh, whatever watch I choose, yeah, according to my mood, according to what is going to happen during the day, if I'm going to have meetings, if I'm going to see people, if it's going to be hot, if it's going to be cold, you know, but sometimes it's just, you know, I gotta wear that Seiko Tuna today, so I'm just wearing it, but uh, lately I, I started understanding the uh, the importance of such, um, you know, travel cases, travel watch walls, uh, whatever you want to call it. And I started wearing a watch, like, I don't know, uh, this Panerai, this very beautiful Panerai, sub 44 Panerai, which isn't good for the purists, but, you know, that's what it is. Uh, but, um, so I'm taking the watch, the Panerai, I'm wearing it, I'm enjoying it, but at some point in the, in the walking day, I say, I just, I want a different watch. And the different watch usually is my, wow, okay, that's, this is my, my favorite watch, my, the uh, Rolex Submariner 14000, you know, dates. The original sub, not the no date sub. As the Rolex purists say, because you know Rolex, Rolex purists are always will always tell you in comments that the Rolex sub uh, sub date is the it's it's is the different watch. It's not the original like the I mean not original. I mean the OG, the original gangster is this, not this the the, the first one from 1953, 54. But uh, this is the, how the submariner, submariner should look like. Um, so yeah, that's what I wanted to, to talk to you about. Not the Submariner in itself, but the fact that I take it with me to work almost every day. I take this and I sometimes take the sub date, the 16610. Um, and that's it, I think I, I take uh, the Explorer I didn't take yet, but I might take it someday. Uh, and it just, I don't know, just, I guess I'm going through a Rolex phase. You know, everyone has their Rolex phase. There's the, there are those, uh, you know, famous charts that everyone knows from the, all over the internet meme uh, forums, uh, Facebook groups, where there's like a chart of a, of a watch uh, lover, enthusiast, uh, who begins with Seiko, you know, SKX, and then goes up and up, and then he goes to Rolex, he gets to Rolex, and then he says, oh, Rolex is the best thing in the world. And then uh, he slowly creeps back down. He buys, I don't know, micro brands. This is what happened to me. He buys uh, more Seiko divers, you know, shitter Seiko divers. But uh, I mean, it's not the same thing. And then, and then there's another uh, uh, you know, like a shift in the parable, in the parable, uh, what's the, the, the English name for it? It's like this, I, I don't remember the name, it's a curve, it's like curvy. I'm sorry, I'm driving, there's a lot of traffic and, uh, and I can't think of the word, but that's the word. So, if we go back, I digress, sorry, I digress a lot in this video. We have the, it begins with SKX, Mm -hmm. gets to Rolex, goes back to all kinds of shitters. And, uh, sorry for saying shitters, I, I don't really mean shitters, it doesn't matter if it's Panerai or the 
it thinks that aren't Rolex. And then he returns to Rolex. And then he says, yeah, okay, now I know Rolex is the best thing ever. So I think, uh, speaking as, as candidly as I can, I think that I'm currently in that phase because I'm thinking about buying a Rolex all the time. And not just because I want to wear it and I want to wear them because they're so fun to wear them. I mean, Rolex say what you want to say about them. They know how to make a watch. And I, I find myself fantasizing about a, a Polar a 16750, a Pepsi, a, a GMT Master from the early, maybe from the 90s, maybe from the early 200, 2000s. And, and I, I fell into the Rolex trap. I fell into the Rolex trap. I am again a F- Rolex fanboy. You know that song? Alone again, naturally. So, my version is Rolex fanboy again, naturally. <laughs> Alone again, naturally. And the naturally is not in vain used because naturally means um, that uh, naturally, sorry, I lost my line of thought. Because it's Rolex. I mean, every every person who sees you walk around with a with a Jubilee a SKX 009, and they don't know what a watch, they they know what watches exist and Rolex exist, and then they might think that you are in a Rolex because Rolex is like. Uh, it's almost a word to say watch. I mean, people think of Rolex, they think of a watch. They don't exactly think about this watch, but it's almost synonymous to saying watch, Rolex. And that's why I think this is a reason why Rolex is is where it is. It's what it is. And exa- again, I, I guess that I'm a Rolex fanboy. I, I don't like a lot of things that they do. I don't like the color and the... You know, uh, situation and how hard it is to get a new watch, but these watches, these watches from the 90s and the early, the early 2000s, they're the best, man. They're the best. I love this. I love this watch so much. To think that only yesterday I was cheerful, bright and gay, looking forward to wouldn't do. The role I was about to play But as if to knock me down Reality came around And without so much as a mere touch Cut me into little pieces Leaving me to doubt Talk about God in His mercy oh, If He really does exist Why did He desert me In my hour of need I truly am Alone again, naturally It seems to me that there are more hearts Broken in the world that can't be mended Left unattended What do we do? What do we do? When 
she passed away I cried and cried all day alone again naturally alone again naturally